Joel, if you're listening. Dave will do a quick introduction and then we'll add you to the call at right around noon. says Marley will be here in a moment, but she's here. All right, guys. Well, welcome to uh, another episode of Marley's Corner. My name is David Gimmis, founder here at Paw.com. And of course, here is Marley. Um, we introduced this show last week. And, um, you know, we wanted to do this show to give everybody an inside look into Paw.com, talk about our products, and uh, really connect with our, our fans and our community. So this week, we're going to have an amazing guest. Her name is Joelle, and we're calling our, our episode this week Frenchy Friday because she has four French Bulldogs, um, and we're very excited to speak with her. Um, we're going to do something cool today uh, where we're going to be giving away a $50 gift card to anybody watching. Just all you need to do is uh, type in the name of your dog in the comments to, to participate and we'll be choosing one winner at the end of the show. So I think without further ado, I'm, I'm doing well. How are you doing? Look at that clan. So nice to meet you. Thank you for joining today. Um, first of all, Frenchy Fridays to kick off uh, uh, this week's this week's episode. Um, obviously, Marley's a French bulldog, so it's great to see uh, another French bulldog parent. How many do you have there? We have four full-grown Frenchies and then four puppies. So we have Ella, Aislinn, Kingsley. Jasper's not on screen, and then we have PG Tips, Coco, who was Tedley, and Freddie and Finley. So we have a whole crew of Frenchies that keep us busy. They're... And their favorite thing is on their paw bed. This is their favorite spot. My goodness, they're so cute, so cute. It must be tough to remember all those names. It gets, you have to, you learn by their mannerisms and by their coloring, but it does, it's, it, they keep us busy, they keep us guessing. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Where do you keep the uh, paw bed and where do they hang out? So we have for the grown-ups, we have your large original polar bear in front of our fireplace, which is, their favorite spot year round, when the fire's going, when the fire's not going, they cuddle up. They'll, we originally purchased that for our 120 pound off Bosch, but the Frenchies quickly claimed it as theirs and would not let him have it. So they took that one over and that's in front of our fireplace. And then we have this one in with the puppies, the blush pink curve large one and they absolutely love it as well as the blanket it's the fur the comfiness couldn't ask for anything more huh Ace? so it sounds like you have other dogs but uh, of course as we can see lots of french bulldogs how did you end up and why did you end up choosing the french bulldog we always i've always had dogs in my life and it came to the point where i wanted to experience a new breed and one that sort of stayed a puppy forever and Frenchies mature and they develop but they're always a puppy at heart there's never a day that goes by that they don't have us laughing and smiling and they're just the best companions so there's there'll never be a day in my life that I don't have a puppy now well, I would have to agree, and of course I'm biased because of Marley. Uh, a little interesting story is that I met with a dog trainer, and she said the French Bulldog for her is the most human-like breed out of all the dogs, uh, simply because they use their emotion to control so many of their decisions. And I'm, I'm sure you've had lots of experiences where 
your French Bulldog has been stubborn and very emotional. Um, what do you think your favorite trait in a French Bulldog is? They're, and I know I'm biased as well, but their ability for unconditional love. It's no matter what, I swear they know what I'm feeling before I know it myself. And they just, they never fail to put a smile on my face, make me laugh. It's, you can't not be happy when you have a Frenchie by your side. So I have a question for you, jo Joelle. Um, yeah. Which does your Frenchie do more, snore or fart? Depends which one. I would say Aislinn snores, but Kingsley and Aislinn and Jasper snore, Kingsley and Ella fart. That's hilarious. Well, Marley uh, does both. She does both, um, you know, keeps us up at night sometimes with the sounds and the smells, but that's part of the breed and you got to love that about them. I never thought fartings could be so cute until I met this, this girl. So <laughs> we love it. I always say I can't now sleep without the sound. It's my white noise machine at night. If they're not right in my ear snoring, it's too quiet. Speaking of sleep, uh, where do all these dogs sleep? So at bedtime, the big kids sleep in my bed. So I have four Frenchies in bed. I say it's their bed. I'm just lucky enough that they share it with me. But during the day, it is on their paw bed. So we, move, we have a few of your paw beds, and if we're in a different room, room we move it around to be in whatever room that we're in so that they can cuddle up because if we don't have that then they're wanting in our arms 24 7 so i know the feeling marley has taken over my bed to the point where now i have to get a king size because she makes it her own and i'm just a guest which is likely going to be expanded because Marley is looking for a brother or sister, and those are absolutely adorable puppies. I might have to speak with you after if you are looking for homes with them. Definitely. We're, I always say it's puppy fever, and it is, and our house is completely Frenchyville. And I joked about getting an Alaskan king because it is their bed, and they know how to spread out, and they each have their spot in the bed and mine is on the very edge being pushed off and I'm slowly losing room on the bed. I know that feeling all too well. Well, Joelle, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. It was so good to meet with you and uh, see all your beautiful dogs and, and take part in Frenchy Friday. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy it, hang out on the pup rug, on the blanket, get some cuddles. And we'll chat soon. Perfect. Thank you so much for having us, David and Marley. We love being a part of this.